our topic for today is probability. Okay, so focus lang natin is sa dice. So, yung dalawang die, okay, ang tawag doon is dice. So, yung output doon ay pwedeng may 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, hanggang 6, 6. So, yan yung mga possible na lalabas pag pinos mo yung dice. Okay? So, ilan lahat yung total? 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 times 6. So, ang total nila ay 36. Yan ang total outcome ng dice pag nag-toss ka. So, ang tinatanong is probability. Ano ba yung probability? Probability is equal to favorable outcomes divided by the total outcomes. Okay? So, yan yung formula natin. Yung sa baba is the total outcome. Sa taas, yung mga possible, yung mga favorable outcomes, yung mga tinatanong na pwedeng lumabas. Okay, so ito yung mga topic sa probability. Okay, so example number one. A pair of dice is tossed once. Find each probability. A. What is the probability of getting a sum of 11? So ang tinatanong niya is the probability of getting a sum of 11. Okay, so fraction tayo. Sa baba is the total Outcome. So, ilan yung outcomes natin sa dice? There are 36. So, ilalagay mo na sa baba is 36. Okay? Sa so, taas, hahanapin natin yung sum na 11. Yan yung favorable outcomes, yung lalabas. Okay? So, hanap tayo yung sum ang 11. Pag pinag mo 11, ito, saka ito. Ito, 12 na. Ito, 10, 10, 10. So, dalawa lang. So, ilan yung possible outcomes natin? Is 2. And lowest term, divided by 2, divided by 2, that is 1 over 18. Okay? So, yan yung probability natin for the sum of 11. So, ano yung ginawa natin? Okay, tignan natin yung sum na 11 doon sa mga possible outcomes doon sa dice. Dito, walang 11 ang sum. Wala din dito. Wala din dyan. Wala din dyan. Ang possible na 11 lang is yung 5, 6 and 6, 5. 6 plus 5 is 11. 5 plus 6 is 11. So, dadalawa lang sila. Divided by bakit may nasa baba? Because it is a total outcomes. Ang tinatanong nila, there are... 36 lahat yung possible sa dice natin. Okay, so 2 over 36, tapos the lowest term. Dinivide sa 2, kaya 1. Dinivide sa 2, kaya 18. So, probability of getting the sum of 11 is 1 over 18. Naintindihan ba natin? Okay, so punta na tayo sa, sa B question. Okay, what is the probability of getting a sum of 8. So, ang tanong naman ngayon is the probability of getting a sum of 8. So, yung sa baba, palaging total is 36. So, yun yung dice natin, 36. Ano naman yung sum na 8? So, hahanap, hahanap tayo doon. Yung data natin, na ang sum nila ay 8 is 2 plus 6, 3 plus 5, 4 plus 4, 5 and 3, and 6 and 2. So, ilan lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that is 5. Okay? May lowest sum pa ba ang 5 over 36? Wala na. Kasi prime number na yun. Okay? So, wala. Yan na yung answer natin. So, ulitin natin. The probability of getting a sum of 8 is total 36 tapos hanapin natin dun sa table 2, 6, 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, and 6, 2 so there are 5 uh, favorable outcomes na pwedeng lumabas dun sa dice natin kaya 5 over 36 so yun ang sagot sa B question okay, punta naman tayo sa C what is the probability 
of getting at most a total of 5. So, may word na at most. Ibig sabihin ng at most, okay, may word na at most, 5 below. Okay? So, kailangan yung total niya ay 5 below. So, hahanap tayo doon, probability of at most 5 equal to the total which is 36 then hahanap tayo doon sa table natin ng at most 5 ibig sabihin ang sum niya is 5 pababa okay at most 5 so bilangin natin 1 2 5 yan 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, there are 10 possible outcomes. Then, lowest term natin, divided by 2, so this is 5, divided by 2, this is 18. So, ang probability of at most 5 is 5 over 18. So, ulitin natin para maintindihan yung mabuti. Yung sa C, iba yung tanong. Mayroong at most. Ibig sabihin ng at most, maximum yung 5 na sum, pwedeng mas mababa. Okay? Pag at least, 5 pataas. Dito naman, at most. So, may mga word na ganun. Okay? So, pag tinignan natin, yung mga sum nila ay 5 pababa. Ito, 1 plus 4, 5. Ito, 1 plus 5, 6 na yan. Bawal na. So, 1 plus 4, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 2, 4 plus 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. Pwede ito kasi mababa. Pwede rin yung 1, 2, 2, 1, and 1, 1. So, nalat sila. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 yung outcomes natin na at most 5. So, 10 over yung total natin palaging 36. So, Divisible by 2, 5. Divisible by 2, 18. So, yan yung lowest term natin. So, ang sagot, the probability of at most 5 is 5 over 18. Okay? So, naintindihan ba natin? Magagamit nyo lahat to. Hanggang sa college, kailangan to mga probability, statistics. Okay. Sa D tayo. What is the probability that both numbers are even. Okay, so ang tinatanong naman dito is the probability that both numbers are even. Okay? So, gawa ka palagi ng fraction. Sa baba is the total, which is 36. Then, sa taas is the probability na even, dal yung dalawang lalabas ay even. So, pupunta na naman tayo dun sa data natin. Titignan natin yung dalawang even. Ito, bawal to kasi add. Add, add. O, oh, ito. Pwede yan. Okay. Next is 4, 2. Next is 6, 2. 2, 4. 4, 4. 6, 4. 2, 6. Even. 4, 6. And 6, 6. So, ilan lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, ang total natin is 9. Then, ilo-lowest term natin, pwedeng i-divide sa 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 36 divided by 9 is 4. So, the probability of what even number is 1 4. Okay, so naintindihan ba natin? So ulitin ko, probability both numbers are even. Titignan mo lang doon kung ano yung parehas na even. Yung 2, 2, even number. 4, 2, 6, 2. 2, 4, 4, 4, 6, 4, 2, 6, 4, 6, and 6, 6. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So ang sagot natin is 9 over the total, 36. And lowest term is 1. So, yan yung first topic natin sa probability. Uh, Sabay-bayan so ninyo mga susunod na topic. Till next time!